Hey guys, welcome to Downstairs Aquarium. Today I'm going to talk about the little guy that started it all. His name is Jalapeno. We've had him for about five months now. So when we got Jalapeno, my boyfriend's sister knew somebody that was moving and couldn't take, couldn't take him with them. So I begged and begged, and finally my boyfriend agreed to let me have this little guy here. He came in like a 3.5 gallon, five gallon tank. It came with a log, a little leaf hammock, and a small filter. He was really attached to this filter. We tried to change it out one time and he was grumpy for a few days until we put back in his original one. Then he was, he was all happy again, hanging out by it. <laughs> so then we decided to do some upgrades to his tank that he came in. We gave him a heater, we gave him a light, because he didn't have that before. We gave him new decorations. Everything was going great. Then we decided that we would see how he would do with other fish in the tank. So we started with some ghost shrimp. I think we started with one ghost shrimp. And then we added in two little Otts. Otto Sinkless. And he is the sweetest little boy ever. He checked out the new fish that were in his home, didn't bother with them, didn't flare up. So then one day, we had like a community tank and one of the platies we bought was pregnant. We didn't know until, you know, she gave birth. So we had to move the fry out of that tank and we were like, well, let's, let's see what happens if we put them in Jalapeno's tank. So we did. <clears throat> he did great with them. He didn't bother with them. They were living their best life in his little tank. And we decided that it was getting a little too crowded in his tank. And I'll, I'll insert photos of the original tank he came in and like the upgrades we did to that. So then we decided that he needed bigger space. So we got him this nice 20 gallon tank. My boyfriend built him this stand, Home Depot. And so we had this, this ship in here. It's got a blue background right now. It's a little Aquion 100 watt heater. This filter, it's a Tetra. Not really sure any other info on it. It's a slow moving filter. He doesn't like current at all. This LED light bar. And we also had to start, we had a lot of um, bushy fake plants for him. And recently, we decided to, sorry, <clears throat> we decided to add in some live plants. So right here we have this Bacopa Carolina. Right in the middle there. Over here we have Amazon Sword. And behind the ship there's there's some more Amazon Sword. <laughs> Look at him sitting on his little ship. Good job, Jalapeno. Good job. And then we got this this bushy one that I loved, which is a Kimbomba. Not really sure. We did no research into plants when we got them. We were just at the store. Last minute we saw them, we were like, Let, let's try it out. So we, we popped them in here. So far, so good. It's only been a couple days. But we're going to try and do a sand tank in here, a sand substrate for him. I think that might be better for the plants. We'll see, not sure. But over here we put in this tree and it was from our community tank, our 45 gallon originally. <coughs> oh, 
I was dead set on not putting this tree because it's so it's so big it almost sticks out the top of the tank I was so dead set against not putting it in here at first but my boyfriend did it just to try it out and he absolutely loves it he is always at the top of his little tree over here in the bushy part it's where you'll find him most of the time like 99% of the time he's there see he's he's heading over there he'll just chill out in this corner oh there you go We also added in some more shrimp. I think there's like three or four ghost shrimp in here now. Um, some blue shrimp and a red cherry shrimp. And there's five aughts in here now. I love the little aughts, they're so cute. So he seems to really, really enjoy this tank. I know it, it is really big for a beta. But if we were going to do it, we were going to do it right and give him the best life that we could possibly give him. Anyway, stay tuned for updates on the tank. We'll take you along the process of switching it over to the sand substrate if we do decide to do that. And thank you for watching.